So, have you ever played Summon Knight Swordcraft Story 2? Yeah, me neither. But these two characters, Rampage, Rabbit, and Lin, are from that game. They looked fun to play. And the sprite work on this rabbit, this bunny rabbit, is so good. I had to give it a try. So the movement seems pretty standard. Got a nice big chomp here. Okay. Uh. Wh why is that so good? Uh. Also, what's going on with this? Hang on. There's no momentum. After a back dash, that's unusual. Okay, let me get some space going here. See, I can do this. Wait a minute. Oh my god! What do we call this? The bunny hop? There's no cooldown on the back dash. I'm claw gripping this to mash. Alright, here we go. So Bunny's got it all. Speed. And triple digit offense. Uh, I'm not even going to bother with the sub weapons yet. I'm going to chomp down. Oh my god. Cool boss. So here's our other character. Rabbit noises, nice. I'm sure the three people who have played Summon Knight Swordcraft Story 2 for the Game Boy Advance really appreciate this lore right here. Um, hang on, what is this? So this is Lin? Is this a robot? Uh... I can't bunny hop with the robot. That's too bad. Ooh! Now surely I get iframes on this. But there is cooldown when you land. So the bunny's got the better dive kick. The bunny's got better movement. I mean, I think the bunny's got the best movement in Castlevania at this point. What about offense? I was told, yeah, you can diagonal down like Alucard. This apparently multi-hits. I mean, that's pretty good, but I gotta be honest. <laughs> this is better. <laughs> Alright, this is now a bunny rabbit playthrough, okay? I think the one advantage is I can't high jump with the bunny rabbit. But I can work around that. Oh my god, the roll double hits. I knew I made the right call putting that bunny rabbit picture on the bottom left. Alright, so bunny rabbit sub weapons, what do we got? <laughs> okay. Well, it's not as good as my chomp. But maybe a nice compliment? What else? Wait, is this an aria of sorrow chrono mage reference? Oh my god. Nice touch. Uh, by the way, take a look at the top of the screen. I like the custom icons for these characters. Really nicely done. I'm guessing those are from the game. 
Summon Knight, Swordcraft, Story 2. I've never played a character with this kind of movement. My hands are already tired five minutes in. So I can throw a fish. Okay. What else? What is this? Oh my god! Alright. I was told there would be a Dragon Ball sub weapon that quote unquote fans of the game would get. I did not expect a Broly. I just, I just didn't expect it. Don't worry, we're gonna see Broly again. That's probably my best sub weapon. Is that it for sub weapons, by the way? Okay, it sure is. It's really good. <laughs> Alright, Lynn, this is your last chance to do anything. Can't duck, can't dodge the laser. Bad character. Done with Lin. I do have to use Lin to break these, I guess. Um, oh, hang on. You can, like, charge it up, I see. Well, I gotta try this out. And I guess for the sake of thoroughness, I'll also try out the sub-weapons. Also, are these candles custom? They look custom. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Alright, sub weapons. A pretty strong Raikuda. Nice. Kitty Cat, of course. And that's it. I right. so this character seems pretty good, but I mean come on. Come on. I'm using the bunny rabbit. Maybe I'll bust out Lin for some of the later fights. Where to next? I'll do Dario before I forget. It's gonna be Dario versus Broly, what a world. So yeah, Money who made this has obviously played this game. Has anyone else played Summon Knight Swordcraft Story 2 for the Game Boy Advance? Nice. Nice. Get him, Broly! No, I missed! You told me Broly's not big enough? Uh, you know what? Yeah. I need the range here. Cool.
So some people have played it. How is it? I did a cursory YouTube search and saw that it was like a Tales style action RPG. Looked pretty good. Well, it got good reviews, Money, so it's probably not just you. But yeah, we've all got that game. You grow up, there's a game that just sticks with you. And even if you've played games that you feel are better, that one's always special. What is that game for me? Where I think it's like a B+, but in my heart it's an A+. Broly? Can't get over that. Puppet Master is kind of tough on Julius mode. I'm just, I'm bad at the game. Matt. Yo, the chomp kind of blows. <laughs> It's not my fault. Hang on. Second try. Alright, easy win coming up. No hit. Check out this no hit. Chomp very carefully. Nice. Nice. Could have been better. Let me try something here. I'm curious. If I hold forward while bunny hopping. <laughs> it's like he's trying to run against a current. Poor bunny. You know, Clash of Demon Head, I have never played. See, let me try and answer that question. What's my favorite B plus, I feel is an A plus kind of game? Hmm. Nothing jumps to mind. There are a lot of games I have nostalgia for that I've super soured on. Like I could give you a list of games I think are like D tier games that I remember fondly. That's kind of negative, so I'll avoid it. But yeah, there have been many times over the past several years I've replayed a game from childhood and thought to myself, wow, this game is bad. You know, I'll give one example, because it's so obscure. I don't think anyone will get too upset by it. Car Battler Joe. You know, I'm talking about obscure GBA games. That was the novelty for the time. It got a little bit of press attention. But you go back today and oh my god, it's got those terrible like mode 7 on GBA graphics. And the gameplay is so straightforward. Not a whole lot of substance to it. A lot of fetch quest style objectives. Didn't like it. 
for the one other person watching this who has played Car Battler Joe. I'm sorry. But play it again, I think you'll agree. What's your pick, Shells? Let me hear it. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games DS. I'm sure that's a good sign. I'm sure that's not bad. I'm giving Dimitri Broly. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he can't handle it. Yo, dive kick is kind of sick. Hang on. <laughs> Let's go. Get him. Hey, what's up, Saris? Thank you so much for seven months. Don't worry, more Metroid soon. Appreciate the reset. I played a lot of obscure GBA games. Alright, I'll give a hot take. I loved Breath of Fire 2 on the GBA. Man. Just that Capcom music classic. And I remember it being simple but fun. But I replayed it. And it is simple. That part's true. It's not good. It is a grind game. With a couple of cool ideas. Can't really recommend it. Probably like C plus grade. I still play them. I was just a little bit disappointed. On the revisit. Golden Sun is very good. And the story of that game definitely doesn't hold up, but the gameplay does. Chicken Little GBA! Oh my god. Money, I think we just got beat for most obscure GBA game recommendation. I thought surely Car Battler Joe was gonna win the prize. <laughs> Is that actually worth playing? A little bit close to dying there. Oh yeah, Morrowind. Super obscure. What is Elder Scrolls? Great choice there. I want to just point out Broly and Gurgoth are on the same screen right now. Oh, hang on, there's a crouch attack. Hang on. Yo! <laughs> hang on. Get him with the carrot. Who cares about the bite? Hey, what's up, Ziggy? That was a little bit too early. It's gonna be fake damage here. 
Wow, fake 500. The dive kick is definitely boosted compared to vanilla. That's 100%. Oh man, I cannot get hit again. Don't do it. Okay. Broly save me. Hey, let's go. Thank you so much, Ziggy, for the gift sub to money. The creator. Much appreciated. I'm having a great time with the sack. Typically, I don't like mashing mechanics in my movement. Oh, come on. With this cute little bunny rabbit. I'm just very forgiving. <laughs> How can I say no? Wait a minute, there's no high jump. Bad bunny. Yeah, that's right, these characters come from Summon Knight Swordcraft Story 2 for the Game Boy Advance. I just got so greedy. <laughs> Come on, Lin. One eye jump. Yo, those roll life frames. You know, what are the lore implications of the fact that Broly is holy damage? Like, what does that mean? Okay, dive kick not gonna work great here. Good, that was quick. Alright, so back to obscure video games we all like. Do I only like mainstream stuff? I'm really struggling with this. Either that or I'm just getting old. Let's do Paranoia a second. Jet Force Gemini, that's not obscure. I'm talking Forgotten. Maybe that's a better way to put it. A cult classic. You know. It's got a following.
Contact on DS. That's not one I've heard of. Good choice. Oh my god in heaven. Does this Roly just target weaknesses? Nice petrified. Okay, so Luffy is not that obscure, but Luffia on Game Boy Color gets no respect. I like how each of the classic Luffia games has some kind of a gimmick. Luffia 1 is a very traditional RPG. Luffia 2's got puzzle elements, Zelda-esque elements to it. Exploration elements. Luffia Color, the gimmick there is a roguelike element where the map is randomized in dungeons. Surprisingly good. Yeah, the legend continues, that's the one. And the GBA one has the gimmick of being a bad game, which was a novel twist for the franchise. Oh my god, it's Yoko. Hello, Dirk's here. Okay, that cutscene was fine, but it gave me a brilliant idea. Here's the idea. I'm gonna go back and say it. Here's the idea. Someone add a Golden Sun character, but make every cutscene 50 to 100 text boxes long, okay? <laughs> Just repeat stuff over and over again. Add a lot of inane dialogue, okay? Come on, that sounds hilarious. You gotta be true to the source material. Alright, so Yoko I'm not gonna use. Yoko is not in Summon Knight Swordcraft Story 2 for the Game Boy Advance, so you can't really use it. Golden Sun talking noise, of course. That's iconic. You gotta have that in there. I don't want to kill a Goonie yet. I'm having fun moving around. It's my favorite fight so far. That was a good fit for the bunny. Alright, so we got Paranoia, Rahab, and Bad Company. I think that's it. Uh, Skies of Arcadia, I would definitely not consider that obscure. That's a cult game. From what I remember, that game has got okay combat. 
but a really cool world and a ton to do. It's one of those games, though, I think it's uh, got really long combat animations, right? As I've gotten older, I have less and less patience for that kind of thing. I just one-shot the Alistor, I think. Uh, Tales games I've played a little bit. Like, I've played a little bit of Fantasia, a little bit of Symphonia. I just, uh, I can't quite dive too deep into those games for whatever reason. I'll get like 30 minutes in and move on to something else. They're good, though. Just don't quite click. Yeah, I'll save again, why not? Paranoia is always scary on Julius mode. The Yeast games? Still don't know how to pronounce that series. Never played. Yeah, let's see that again. This is a weird room. Quick bunny hop practice for the boss. Okay, the Saga games are a good example because Unlimited Saga got a re-release. I loved that game. I still gotta get around to trying out the new one. Those games are bad. Like, they're bad. They don't tell you anything. You know that term people bandy about? Conveyance? To describe how well a game explains things to the player? Those have got the worst conveyance of any RPG series, but I think that adds to the charm. It's like a mystery, trying to piece together the mechanics as best you can. I think it's fascinating. And the first one is one of my favorites. I think it's probably Unlimited Saga than the first one for me. Those are my power rankings. Alright, Lin's coming out for this. Yeah, Robotrek was a weird one. Is that considered bad? It probably is by some. I thought it was okay, but my memory is fuzzy. How did that trade? Oh yeah, Ninja 5-0. That's a good GBA game. Could have survived with the cycle of lasers, so died at the perfect moment. Another game I love that I've talked about before is Pocky and Rocky, but uh, time has been kind to that one. A lot of people know about it now, and the re-release helped. Unreal SNES game. I like how this is just gone. Thank you. That should be true for every fan game. Just remove that wall. Alright, 
I'll tell you a really obscure game that I haven't actually played myself, but I saw it on Twitch. It was fascinating. All right, here's how it works. You ever play Arkanoid? I want you to imagine a Hello Kitty volleyball version of Arkanoid for the Super Nintendo, except it's a 1v1 competitive game. And there was a tournament going on for this Hello Kitty game where you have a ball, you're trying to throw it into your opponent's goal, and it's got like five different maps. It was the greatest thing I've ever seen. It was just, I want to play that game. I want to go pro. I gotta find the name on that one. It's kind of like, you ever played uh, Wind Jammers? I got real Wind Jammers vibes from that game, except more dynamic. It is a better Wind Jammers. Diddy Kong Racing? Yeah, Rare is super obscure. I'm sorry. <laughs> Was that too sarcastic? I'm sorry. That's one of my all-time favorites. I did 100% in that for the first time. Uh, a couple years ago? Last year? I think it was last year. That uh, is uh, Adventure 1 and Adventure 2. 100%. It's just, it's a classic. Wow, that was quick. All right, I guess Bunny wins that matchup. Speaking of Battle Network, when is that collection coming out? Is it next year? Problem. I right, get him, Broly. Get these needles for me. Thanks. Um, I was told these were removed. I guess not that one. All right, I'll go around. Oops, forgot. Ah, oh, it's fine. That one's really easy to forget about. Alright, here's one that should not be obscure, but I think it is obscure now. Point Blank. It's a light gun game for the PlayStation and arcades. In a lot of ways, it's the progenitor to the WarioWare series, if you've played that. Except it's a light gun game. Different obscure, or not obscure, that's the wrong word, a different um, miscellaneous kind of games. A lot of variety, a lot of weird stuff. So addictive. You, can, you could have popped that in and played it for like 15, 20 minutes per session. But now it's really hard to play because you need a CRT. And there are no modern re-releases to my knowledge. That one I'd recommend. Hello, Giovanni. Yeah, that was a fun Soten race. I'm looking forward to the next one for sure. Let's 
go back and watch the VOD, pick up some tips. gonna die here? Hang on. Hang on. Not gonna risk that. I quick Yoko. Real quick. <laughs> I was one hit away, of course. So that should be everything. Let's go win the game. This is going to be comfortably sub hour, which is a sign you've got a couple of overpowered characters, but in a fun way. This has been great. I've loved this act. All right, so in honor of Summon Knight Swordcraft Story 2, which I will never talk about again on this stream, one final round. Everyone's favorite obscure, let's call it GBA in particular game. I think Chicken Little is currently at the top of the list. Hot Wheels? Okay. I'm gonna guess that's less obscure and more just kind of a mediocre licensed game. Drill Dozer, are good choice. The DS version was a little bit more popular, but the GBA one I think was released internationally. A game not as many people played as they should have was WarioWare Twisted. That's the one with the gyro sensor and the big GBA cart to accommodate it. That is still arguably the best WarioWare game, but it's just it's so hard to play now. Super Robot Tyson Original Generation 1 and 2. Great choice. Fantastic games. Um, the writing, though, is bad. But, gameplay holds up, I think. You got the branching paths. A lot of cool characters to use. Really, really good. Uh, this is going to be hard for the bunny rabbit. Wait a minute, I'm dead. <laughs> I realized too late that I don't have a high jump with the bunny rabbit. I should have just dodged it normally. I don't know why I was trying to get cute. All right, second try. Yo, the bunny can kind of jam.
He somehow got a lot more Broly ready for phase two. Okay, I just got so scammed. Please, any other attack, I'm begging you. Oh my god, the scam! Oh dear. Oh, what a dodge. Come on, I've, I've earned this. So hitboxes were a little bit jank, but what a fun one. That's right, I've got the better chum. Alright, can I slide through this? Oh my god, the bunny rabbit. He is nuts. A quick rolling. Start the fight with Yoko for some wacky dialogue. Does the bunny rabbit not get rabbit noise dialogue? Alright, we'll use Yoko instead. <laughs> Chomp down on some sand. this. Uh, how do I win here? I right, Lynn, once again. There we go. That is a satisfying hit sound effect. It's almost like a harmony damage deck. Well, I'm not going to use Lynn on the final fight, so let's go ahead and give her one last showcase before the end of that. Uh-oh, no slide. That's a big problem. I got that worked. Simple double jump. Okay, was not expecting that. Nice. That was fun. Back to the bunny. Can un I can outrun ba uh, Black Panther. That's how fast the bunny hop is. We're gonna see that again one more time.
Can I slide through Iron Golem? Probably not. It's not gonna be, uh... Yeah, large enough. <laughs> I'm actually quicker than Black Panther. My mashing is not good, so it could be even faster. Oh yeah, these characters right here, good question. They are from Summon Knight Swordcraft Story 2 for the Game Boy Advance. I'm ready for this wacky dialogue. Wow, that was almost very inappropriate, money. You gotta be careful. Going back to the wholesome bunny rabbit right now. Right now. What a shot. Alright, here we go. I got a familiar too, let's go. Get him, Carrot. One hit to spare. Hey, what's up, Liz? Thank you so much for three months. Really appreciate the Prime. Hope you're doing well. Sorry, I missed that. I'm locked in. How'd I get hit? What a scam. Well, this is over. Second try, here we come. Let's go. You know, if I advertise this playthrough as a Summon Knight Swordcraft Story 2 character hack, no one will watch it. Because no one has played that game. I'm going to have to think of something more creative. 